Hey guys, it's Pierre from KM SpiderAccessories.com. Welcome to my shop. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this. This is the 622 Space Saver Rack. So, I'm going to walk you through the assembly process of the 622 Space Saver Rack. There's already on the web on, on uh, YouTube a video that takes care of this, but we did make a couple of changes to the packaging and the assembly. It's even easier than it was before, so let's get started. So the main difference for assembly uh, is going to be these little numbers here. Let me swing my camera back around. All right, you see these here? I've started to put little numbers here. So two, two, three, three, one, one, and you got four and four and so on as you go upwards here. It's not color match, so that doesn't matter. What you need to remember is the little numbers. It's just my way of helping you to tell you exactly that this piece here goes with this piece here right next to it and there's going to be a hole there where you're going to be putting that bolt but you know as you're assembling it 8 goes with 8 and 5 goes with 5 and these are put in sequ uh, sequence from 1 to 12 so you're going to be starting off with this one here so when you get this you're going to have this long bar here and then you're going to have this one here that goes through and brings the, the ones with the wheels together. So one, two, and so on. But I'll, I'll, I'll get started on, the, on the, um, the way you're gonna see it when it comes packaged, and you'll understand a little bit more. One other thing I just wanna mention, you see these blocks that I have here, four by four. If you have a two by four or anything else like that, well, it's just to help you uh, keep everything stable as you're putting it together. See, I've taken the wheels off the table that I'm the workbench that I'm using right now. So if you have four of these little blocks here as you're assembling it, well, it's going to be very more stable than having the wheels roll on you as you're, uh, you know, pushing and pulling and uh, putting the bolts in. All right, guys. So I'm going to try something different here. I've uh, I've got the camera up about eight feet in front of me, and uh, I've got it down on the work table that I got here on the workbench. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to give you a top view and see if this works out. Now, this is the unpackaging. So this is what you're going to get, guys. You're going to get two of these pieces right here where you have the wheels. You're going to get a piece that's going to be the center piece. And these two pieces here are actually the legs that are going to go up. This is going to hold the legs on top. These are little braces at 45 degree angles to hold the two legs to the sides where you have the wheels. And we have a third brace as well. You got your hardware, you got your nuts, uh, your bolts and nuts here. And you have two smaller ones. These will go with the 916 key. And these two here will be the half inch, okay? So we're gonna get going. I recommended that you have some blocks. I have some four by four here. If you have two by four, uh, you may be able to get the job done as well. So this is how we're gonna start off. So we're gonna take off one of these and the way I'm working, if you can see I'm here, and you can see my fat stomach. <laughs> we're gonna work from this side to that side. So. When you look at this piece here, you'll see that one of the wheel is on the edge. So that's going to go the furthest away from you. And we're just going to put that down here this way. We're going to take the other one down and put it here. And now we're going to take that center piece that we have. The center piece you can tell because it's smaller than the leg. It's shorter. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put that right here like that. So just bring these in a little bit on each side. Now everything is gonna square up once we've put all the pieces together, but you can just go by eye and make sure you have a 90 degree angle on this side and this side as well. So now looking at my numbers here, I have number one and one. So I knew that, that this would fit here. I have two and two here, so I know that fits there. So we'll go ahead and put in the nuts and bolts. Okay, so we've already got the base that's already set up, and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting the two legs. I have a number four here, 
and I have a number four here, so I know this is going to go this way. If I bring the other leg, number three, and I got a number three here. Now the holes for the bolts are very, very tight. So you may need sometimes to drill it in, but like I said, it's a tight fit in there. Now I'm just tightening it a little bit. I'm still leaving a little bit of slack, so it's going to be easier to assemble the rest of the pieces. So now that we've got the two legs holding there, we're going to go ahead and put the brace on this side and the brace on this side here. So I have my two braces here. I have a number five and number five here. So I know this is going to fit this way. One of the things that I wanted to mention is that these racks, they're all put together individually. And before I send it to you, before it's packaged, it's actually all put together, you know, once before it leaves. And the final holes and the final, you know, making sure that everything is squared and everything is calibrated for, for this, well, it's all done before you get it. So I know that for sure that when I send you a rack, it's a rack that's been tested and it's a rack that works. I personally do all the racks. That's a lot of racks. And I'm going to go ahead and put this piece here right now. And I've got a number 10, number 9, number 9, number 10. And it's when you look at it, you want the flat surface towards you and this edge that way. Okay, now before I put the nut on this side, I have a third number 10. There's only one that has three times the same number and it's number 10 right up here. It's going to be the other brace that we have here. So go ahead and I'll put my, my nut in now. So this one is actually holding three pieces. And I've got number 11 down here. I'm going to do that. And up top, this is where the smaller bolts were. And there's only one way this fits in because the holes are already made, so you don't have a choice. If you want to fit both bolts, you only have one way you can put it. All right, once again, I will just retell you that I haven't tightened up any of the bolts yet. So it was giving me a little bit of play and it makes things easier to assemble. But it's still, you know, because it's got the brace in there, it's, you know, pretty tight. But now all we need to go around and to do is go around with our impact drill. And that's it guys, this baby's already assembled, it's nice and sturdy, as you can see it's all aluminum, so uh, nothing's going to rust on this baby, and putting it together is just a matter of minutes. 
So that was the video, the install video for the Space Saver Rack, the 622 Space Saver Rack for your Can-Am Spider. Um, when, when I put these together, I, all the final drilling is done to be leveled. So I do it at the end. I got the vice grips on there and I make sure everything is done. I personally do them. So when I send it out, I know it's working fine and everything is in order. And we want that because, you know, you're actually, you're putting a 622 trailer up there and, and that's heavy. So the balance has got to be perfect. And it always is. Once again, thank you for your trust. Thank you for encouraging us. Uh, please go see Can-Am Spider Accessories.com. That's Can-Am Spider Accessories.com uh, for great products. We have some beautiful front grills for your RT Series 214 and up Can-Am Spiders. We have some amazing uh, uh, rear shelf system for the F3. That's the F3S and the F3 uh, from 215 to 217. As long as you have a backrest from BRP, this shelf will fit on there. I've got beautiful F3 hitch. I've got some F, uh, RT itches as well. They come with a plug and play harness. So we got all kinds of products. Spread the word, we appreciate your business and we appreciate your trust. My name is Pierre and you've been watching Can-Am Spider Accessories dot com.